So to connect these together, I wanted to use half lap joints. Taking apart the dry assembly, I've actually snapped one of these fingers uh, just with how tight it were. So I'm just going to put some glue in there and clamp it up, leave it to dry, and it'll be fine. I'm going to use a ton of glue on this because I don't want a massive squeeze out in between these lats. flaps came out a little rough uh, so I'm just going to take off the thinnest amount with the circular saw. They look so much better now. I've got a few gaps which I'm going to fill with wood glue and uh, some of this sawdust. Now the glue's dried, I'm going to sand it with 120 grit. I'm going to give the top two coats of Georgian Media Mark Danish oil. I like this stuff. And I've already got in between the lats here. Thankfully, because getting in between these would be a bit of a pain right now. First coat and it's looking nice.
Okay, so I've applied two coats, I've denibbed in between each coat, and that is the top done uh, onto the base. To attach the legs to the top and the bottom, I'm going to use hidden dowels. And these will be plenty strong enough. Nice and tight. I did have a go with angled mortise and tenons joints, but they're a bit loose and there's so much that can go wrong. Um, I also want to finish this table bench um, this side of 2021 as well, so hidden dowels is the way I'm going. So to find out how long I need this piece to be, I've put that up there up against this piece um, to find out where it's going to run in line well up here and then I've set this piece up this is probably wrong way of doing it it's probably the long way like but that's in line with that and I've got that line there at this side so I'm going to cut across there and that will give me my length for this piece and then I can rinse and repeat on the other side. If you know an easier way, let me know down in the comments, yeah? Cheers. Fifty-six point eight. Fifty-six point six. Yeah, that'll do. That's worked out quite all right. So on the remaining leg pieces, I'll just mite to one end, hold up my first piece, line it up with the edge there, sharp pencil, cut along just on the outside of that line. Okay, so looking at this, I'm going to go in 20 mil from the outside edge in, and then 15 mil across from the adjacent sides in. Uh, I can't do 20 and 20 because they'll be too close together.
that's the dry assembly complete. I'm going to take it apart, give it a sanding because some of these parts will be quite difficult to sand once it's glued up. Um, finish it and then glue it back together. We're going to use the same Danish oil that I used on the top. Two coats, lightly sanding in between coats. Jobs are good in. to try and get it in the house without dropping it. And that's the bench finished. It's been a really cool project, trying out different joinery techniques and I'm really happy with how it came out. It's slightly lower than I initially planned but that was a compromise to make those angled leg cuts easier on myself. I just want to say thanks to Carl Pope for setting this challenge and if you haven't then go check out his channel and everyone else who's participated. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I'd properly appreciate it if you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification icon so you'll know when I release a new video. Also if you want to check out my other social media I'm available at Jamie Makes It where I post more frequently in between builds with parts that maybe didn't make it into the videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.